All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Yahweh. honor to the elders and the apostles of GMS, the great millstone, who definitely rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaftawa Dada House of David that's currently being built up in these last days, all right? Supporting the GMS Boston camp. Um, I'm the brother Zion, the brother Karab, brother Benawar, Yakalam, as you see on the screen. And the Lord got us together. It's 2021. Um, the year of 2020 is, is, is over and done with. Uh, that, that was the year of prophecy. This is the year of hastening and the coming of our Lord and Savior, whom the world ignorantly calls uh, uh, Jesus Christ, you know, and, and it's fitting that after a year like 2020, um, this year we're pushing that vibration of what? Of hastening the coming of our Lord, which is really detrimental, all right, to our, our lives, to our well-being, because the scriptures state that if the Lord didn't come back, there will be no flesh saved. And you can see the, the direction that the world is heading towards. You see the, 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 the breaking down of these bodies that, that were subjected to uh, sin, uh, subjected to vanity, uh, which are nothing but chambers of darkness that, that we're in. Um, they're breaking down, man. You know, elements, brothers are having elements, brothers, this flesh is weak. So uh, uh, with the vaccinations Esau is, is trying to push for, the RFID microchip, um, the mandating of it, uh, just the, the calamities, the, the plagues, the food shortages, uh, race wars and race riots, with everything that's going on in the world, is fitting for us to do what? To cry out unto our Heavenly Father, all right, to send his only begotten Son, Yahweh, which is deliver to come save us. And keep in mind, brothers, that when we was in the land of Egypt, um, you know, the Heavenly Father heard our cries. So it's that one brother, it's that one epistle, that one show, that one prayer that's going to walk into the ears of the Heavenly Father. That's going to make him make his decision. You know, when he was in the land of Egypt, he heard our cries and he, and he remembered his covenant that he had with the Jews in Israel. All right. And he sent forth for Moses to deliver us out of there. Like the scriptures say, this is the, the this is us coming into Egypt again. All right. This is the second Egypt. and He's going to make a second deliverance out of this place. It's going to be no longer remembered. Uh, this the Egyptian, ancient Egyptian uh, in Egypt will no longer be remembered. Give me um second. Uh, give me Jeremiah chapter 16. Uh, 14. Come on, come on. It's gonna be no more remembered, but this is this is this is what's gonna be remembered because of how glorious it's gonna be, how glorious this deliverance is gonna be. Come, right? gotcha, bro. come. Yep. Uh, Jeremiah 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth the blood of the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth the blood of the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into the into the land that I gave to the fathers. Yeah, so it's gonna no longer be said the Lord liveth that lived, delivered the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but out of the land of the north, land of what north? The land of North, north America. All right, and all the places that we were scattered. And this is the time that we, we're living on. This is what we're hastening. We look at that word hasten, it means to to make hurry of, you know, to make, uh, to, to bring fast, to do it uh, speedily, all right? And we, we, we're calling for him, we're begging for him, we're sighing and crying, it's to the Heavenly Father for all the abominations that we've done in the midst so they could come and deliver us from out of this hellhole, man. So it's a lot, I was speaking to this brother earlier, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of news articles in RT News, um, and, 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 and if you're going to hasten a day, you got to hasten for what? The prophecies, because we know yeah. the Heavenly Father is a man of his, his, his word. There are certain, a set amount of prophecies that have to take place in order for the return of our Lord. You know, so we're watching for these prophecies. We want these prophecies to unroll. We want Esau to come out with the vaccination uh, shots. We want him to come out with the RFID microchip. We want them to invade Iran. We want the war in the Middle East to spark up because that was all biblical prophecy, you know? So if you can, bro, if you could look, go ahead, y'all, you got it. If you could look something up, we could just do it just right off the right off the limb. We'll go to RT News and and, and we'll filter those bad boys right with the scriptures. Go ahead, Karnak, 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 I just want to bring out second Ezra 9 and 1 because you was going into us measuring the time, you know, according to the prophecies that's going down. And it's the second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time 
wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, mm -hmm. when therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Beautiful, you know, and, and a man of wisdom is going to do what? He's going to take heed to those tokens. He's going to take heed to the signs and he's going to pay attention. He's going to remain on his watch and he's going to watch for these things. He's going to give the warning for when he see him, to warn the people, to warn his sheep, to warn his, um, um, his, these, these are family members that you're looking out for, you know, that's in these tents. Moms, dads, grandmothers, to warn them about the sword that's coming. Oh. All right. And these are all tokens of what? The end of the world. And these are the things that you see, you manifest. We don't know. We're not out here to convince you of these things, you know. We just have to tell you to people whether they hear or whether they forbear. You know? Con, I got a quick article uh, from RT. I'm going to jump into it right. I'm going to just put it up on the screen. Um, this is from RT News. And the title says, uh, Beware of Trap. It says, Beware of Trap. Iranian FM warns Trump Israeli agents are preparing attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq to spark war against Tehran. And this was posted uh, 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 January 2nd, 2021. All this right. is fresh off the presses right here. Mm -hmm. And hey, on January 2nd, you know, um, we, we you, if you recall how 2020, uh, 2020 started off with the bombing of Salomone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're already kicking this off with a warning about some intel that the Iranians received, all right, concerning these Israelis uh, planning sneak attacks on American soldiers, blaming it on, all right, the Iranians, all right, because they know that if, 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 if Israel is attacked, Israel being an ally of the United States, that would force the United States into a war. And this is what really the Israelis want. They want to force, all right, America to do their dirty uh, work, so to speak, to go to war with these nations basically over control and dominance, all right? So so their intelligence is, is letting them know, to give them a warning, like, look, don't be surprised. And guess what? This has happened. The Israelis have attacked American ships and blamed other people. And, and this, is, this is public record, you know? So go ahead, brother. Khan, and it reads, Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has accused Israel of plotting false flag attacks on American in Iraq in a bid to frame Iran and prompt Washington, well, prompt Washington start an all-out war with Tehran. He says the reef on Saturday tagged Donald Trump on Twitter. The U.S. the U.S. president's social media of, of choice. It says as he repeated the claim of a false flag plot, and it says quote new intelligence from Iraq indicates that that is Israeli agents provocateurs are plotting attacks against Americans, putting an out, outgoing Trump in a bind with a fake um, Casas battle. And this is um, the foreign minister then warns Trump against falling for the alleged Israeli uh, Israeli plot. He said that any ho hostility against Tehran will backfire not only for Washington, but also for its chief ally in the Middle East. He says, be careful of a trap, President Trump. Any fireworks will backfire badly. Uh, particularly against your same BFFs, Zarif, Zarif wrote. And it says, uh, Iran's top diplomat first brought up the topic of an alleged in, impending false flag attack earlier this week. On Thursday, he revealed Tehran had received a tip about a plan blown from Iraqi intelligence. Well, while Zarif did not name the culprit behind the alleged plot, the tone of his message suggested that the, U the United States itself had actively seeking a pretext for war with Iran. He scolded Trump for flying B-52 and sending uh, Armada to the Gulf region instead of fighting COVID in the United States. Yeah, hey, so just you, by reading that, two scriptures come to mind, at least if any other brothers got anything, um, bring it out. Um, yeah. One of them is the least of the flock shall draw them out. I don't know what that scripture that's, is. That's from Jeremiah 49, I think it was 20 something. I, 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 yeah, I'll look for it. And another one is uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter and the 16th verse. I believe 16 and 14, if, for some brother, if a brother could grab that real quick. Uh, uh, um, Jeremiah uh, 49 and 20. 49 and 20, right? 
Yep. I got you, bro. Uh, Jeremiah 49, verse 20. And he reads, uh, and he says, uh, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Edom and his purpose that he had purposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Yeah, Edom, 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 Edom is the uh, uh, house of Esau. Yeah. Edomites. Huh. Right, Timon is, is going into the Russians. Right? Go ahead, bro. Surely the surely the least of the flock shall drop them out. Surely shall make the habitation desolate with thee with them. Yeah, the least of the flock is going into the Israelis, man. All right, these Israelis, these these Jays, these Khazars are, the, are going to be the one to spark off this Third World War. Why? Because they're troublemakers. Mm -hmm. they, they 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 stem to receive um, uh, uh, spoils of a Third World War from the world going into total chaos and, 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 and destruction, all right? They believe that they're going to set their nest on high uh, to escape the evils as to what is to come and to reap up the benefits. And they show you in a lot of movies, um, Asylum is one of them, a lot of uh, post-apocalyptic movies in which, you know, the world is bombed back into the Stone Age, but there's a few at least that have certain technology, certain vehicles, certain uh, 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 spacecraft. And they're, they're, they're basically light years ahead of the rest of society. This is what Esau really dreams. This is, this, is, this is a wet dream for Esau, man. This is how he wants to try to control the, the earth. But the Heavenly Father has a different plan for him, man. These devils are going down. All That's right? Come. Come. If I may, uh, real quick, right? If yep. I may, because, like, uh, you know, these devils, they desperately try to pretty much set up their new order, right? On the left-hand side. But what they felt to understand is that Yahweh has a new order as well on the right hand side. Nice. And, and nice. part of Yahweh Shai knows new old order is to pretty much get rid of these devils, man. You know? And there's nice. nothing they can do about it, man. Because ultimately, prophecy has to be fulfilled, you know? Calm. That's right. Calm in the back, y'all. This is the book of Revelation 16 and 14 that you asked for. Yep. It says, For there are spirits and devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth. And of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Lord Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Yeah, Armageddon. This this is the spirits of devils, and this is what they're doing. They're trying desperately to start a, a third world war. Mm -hmm. All right, this is this is what they're doing, and this is all part of biblical prophecy. This, all these things must need to come. Get the book of Joel, chapter three, verse uh, one. I got you. Mm -hmm. So all biblical prophecy, you know, it's all downhill from this point up. Twenty 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 was he setting up the beginning stages of his new world order. And it really, all actuality, it was the elites jumping in with two feet. Mm -hmm. You see, they jumped in with two feet and there's no turning back from what they started. There's no going back. The only thing they could do is go full fledged. And, and guess what? 2020 was the year in which um, these so-called conspiracy theorists were, were deemed right. Mm -hmm. These so-called, the so-called conspiracy theorists was, was, was spot on concerning 2020, man. All right, all these things that all these events and the things that happened were things that the, the prophets were prophesying about a long time ago. And 2021 is just gonna be them trying to execute um what they started. So a lot of people think that 2021 is gonna be a better year. They hope that it's gonna be is a new year, a new me, a new change, you know, a new president, you know. But but in all actuality, they're gonna wish that they 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 was back in 2020. 2020 is gonna be a great year. As opposed to what 2020 is, uh, 2021 is, when they get to locking shit down, at least now you could go into a, a restaurant and get your son to eat now uh, in 2020. You know, you had to have a mask on and social distance, but you wait till they implement what they really want to implement. Mm -hmm. And you niggas, you're gonna, you niggas gonna be on total lockdown. Mm -hmm. Claire, you? Now, I was gonna say, uh, I got an article just to follow up on exactly everything you just stated, but um, I'm gonna bring out uh, Joel 3. No, we'll bring your article out, brother. All right, bring your article out. All right, um, let me pull it up on the screen real quick. All right, here we go. And it reads, um, civil wars, medical discrimination, spy satellites, and cyborgs 
how 2021 could make us learn from 2020. Hmm. Right? You see the spirit. I didn't even see that article. Hmm. But that's the spirit, bro. And, and, and it just makes perfect sense if you, you know, honestly, you don't got to be a rocket scientist to see that, though. You know, you just got to have a spiritual eye and, and, and be woke, you know, not sleepwalking or, or not sleep dead um, like these goddamn zombies are, man. And that's the Thwada Yehawba Shimiyah Shah oh. that he's given us the eye salve. There's no, there's no, nothing on our own at all. That's right. You know, we damn sure can't take any credit for this. There's a thin line between us being in the know and, and, and them on the other side. You know, the Heavenly Father could, within a snap of a finger, take somebody that's on this side and put them on the other side and vice versa, take somebody on that side and put them on this side, that's you know? Right. So so we say that humbly and lightly, but, you know, you know, again, the water y'all by Shemya Shada, we can see this uh, uh, sword, this destruction, this perfect storm. You know, it's like a chemist that's mixing two uh, a ke uh, chemicals that, that, that would explode, that doesn't mix. You know, we, we, we see it, you know. So, hey, you could read a little bit of that article. Uh, kind of, this was posted January uh, uh, 1st, 2021. And it says, people everywhere are eager to bid farewell to 2020, a year in which our lives were turned upside down by power, power mad elites who seized the CV-19 pandemic as a chance to go full police state. But be careful what you, what you wish for. Hmm. The year 2020 has proven things can always get worse, delivering a worldwide economic depression, a CV, uh, a CV pandemic. It says uh, riots across the United States and unprecedented political division. It's safe to say most of humanity is eager to close the book on it, but merely putting up a new calendar does nothing to address these issues, which seems certain right. to reach a breaking point. Humanity has been pushed to the limit with uh, arbitra arbitrary, arbitrary rules, enforced poverty, and mandate mandated isolation. It will only take a spark or two for things to explode. Now, going back to yeah. what I stated, <laughs> the two chemicals being mixed, and ultimately, what's going to come from that explosion is it's telling you right there man, that it, it's right. only it's only what oh. one spark or two sparks for things to really go crazy, man. Sorry. Hey, it's crazy, bro. That's crazy that, you know, like I said, the 2020, the year the conspiracy theorists were proven right, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and what can these other guys say? What can these other people that, that scoffed about what you were telling them, you know, look, man, it's going to be martial law. Look, there's going to be uh, yep. a race riot. Look, there's going to be lockdown, you know. Look, they're going to try to make these things mandatory. They're going to try to, you know, they're going to try to the voluntary uh, rule of government is coming into effect. And this is exactly what happened, man. Oh, this is a crash of the dollar. This is exactly what has happened. A third world war. Oh, you know, these are all the things that's brewing. I got a piece Wait, of Michael. Come on. Come on. It's the second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the later time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, they, they want us to tell you good things are gonna come, right? Like you got you know how drunk off the Babylon juice or, or drunk off of stupid you gotta be to really think that 2021 is gonna be a better year. Mm -hmm. Why? Just because the, the calendar changed, you know, at at the end of the year, one day it moved up. You think things are gonna get better? What you know, deal with trajectory. What what has transpired to make you believe? That things are gonna get better, hmm. you know. You know. You know. It, it, things aren't gonna get better, man. It could get worse. That's right. Um, Daniel's the twelfth chapter will tell us that. Mm -hmm. Right. I brothers my credit. Many great, great miseries to them, because why the world dwells in great pride. You think that you what voting? What have you done? Did you vote in uh, Joe Biden? And mm -hmm. now all of a sudden things are gonna be great. You got a little six hundred dollars stimulus package, and now your money rolls are going, hey, I went to the grocery store and I'm noticing that the, the prices of the food, shot prices up. of food, uh, they shot up, man. Yeah, they up there. They shot the hell up, man. He yeah. saw it on a sneak tip, man. So nothing but woes coming to this place, man. And also, yeah. if I be on real quick, right? Hyperinflation, right? Mm -hmm. With Esau putting all those kind of uh, stimulus packages, right? Pretty much the dollar, the value of the dollar going to go down. So that's going to cause 
a, a economic collapse, you know what I'm saying? So these people are pretty much, hey, all heads are about to be close, man, you know? Uh, hold on, hold on. I can slide this one in here real, real quick. The back, y'all. This is Second Ezra sixteen seventeen. It says, "Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death." Going into what you're talking about, with price of food going up and people not having money to even keep a roof over their head, they're losing mm -hmm. their jobs. So food definitely gonna be. It's going to be, yo, do we keep the roof or do we get the food? You know, they have articles on that. It says the beginning of um, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Yeah, bad times, man. That's mm -hmm. what's coming. Bad times. Mm -hmm. Bad times is what's coming because he's on his way up and Jacob is on the rise. And those, those are the, the, that's the perfect storm. That's the perfect story. You got a you got a you got a nation of people um, that enemy at odds with one another, and 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 Esau has convinced the whole world to hate Jacob. So as Jacob is on the rise and Esau is on the way down, Esau they call it scorched earth tactics. Mm -hmm. You know, where where a retreat army is going to be wise for them to do what to burn the bridges. Mm -hmm. If you're a retreat army running from the running from running from the op, why would you leave the bridges intact? What do you do? You scorch the earth. You you burn the bridges. You burn the crops so that your army doesn't have no food. You 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 you, you stop them. You try your best to stop them in their tracks. And this is what Esau is doing. He's doing scorched earth tactics. When you see what he's doing around the earth, all this is is really to control the children of Israel. Everything yeah. is implicating. Everything he's doing. The vaccination, population control, abortion rates. And if there's some casualties in the way. Then so be it, but he's hell bent on the destruction of the children of Israel. Scorched oh. earth tactics. Go ahead, Bunny Wall. Oh, Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice in heavens, and ye that were in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he have a short time. It, oh, beautiful precept, right? Because not just because it talks about him coming down with great. Uh, a wrath, but it talks about woe into the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, going into the scorched earth tactics that he's doing. This devil don't give a damn. You know, there's no way to put the nuclear waste, but as long as he can make missiles to maintain his power, he don't care about the earth. He don't care about putting nuclear waste in the sky or, or in, in the water or or, or in, in, in space or wherever. It doesn't matter. As long as he can uh, fulfill what he was, fulfill his role, which is the role of destruction, He's perfectly fine with it. Con, right. If I may, I will quit too, because this devil know ultimately that he's not going to inherit the earth, you know what I'm saying? So he's trying to do everything he can to destroy it, because like, he doesn't care about it, you know what I'm saying? So he knows like we we have next, the, the worship to come is the worship of Yahweh Shai, by default, the worship of the nation of Israel. So this devil, they're gonna go all out, man. They're not gonna go down without giving a fight, man. They, it, the scripture tells you that they're gonna fight the Lord himself. So how much more us here down here, you know what I'm saying? That's right. This is and this is how about you know Shah's creation, the whole earth, you know. So so ultimately, like showing you, like the brother had mentioned, hey, the, the, the only thing they're gonna do is what try to destroy everything within this earth, man. I got a quick precept. Uh, this is Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and the wrath is come, and the time of the dead, and they that they that should be judged, and they that should have give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. And to the saints and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Yeah, who destroyed the earth? You saw Edom, man. Fracking, digging for oil, spraying chemtra, deliberately putting chemtra. That's proof who we saw is. He's he's that destroyer. Uh -huh. You're deliberately putting chemtrails in the earth, all right, to try to break down our immune system, all right, but that's affecting you. Mm -hmm. Digging for coal, you know, you, you've destroyed the earth, man. Fishing all year round, uh, not honoring the land Sabbath, digging, uh, 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 plucking up all season, mm -hmm. you no know, uh, global warming. You know that that that's your destruction of the earth. Can't even, start, even even starting those all uh, wildfires because Esau has his hands in that. Remember uh, with the Amazon down in uh, down in uh, I think it was uh, South America. Yeah. They, was, they, they did that to open up, uh, basically create create more space. All right, burning down uh, acres upon acres of land, which is, you know, could be used. That, that's, that's, that's the inhabitants of, of the animal, animals. You feel what I'm saying? That's the habitations of the animals. So, showing you that he's just doing that 
and, and he's the main main man behind it. Yeah, oxygen, carbon dioxide, the, the relationship that we have with the trees and, and, and how they give us life and we give them life, but Esau doesn't care. Even with the uh, fires in California, you had um, in the OC and uh, some rich areas in California where these Edomites had, you know, uh, house insurance on these mansions. They were setting these fires just to collect the money. But, you know, how do you scorch the earth just for some paperbacks, some, uh, uh, some fiat notes, you know? That's why the scripture says that the earth is going to rejoice when Esau is, is taken down because the earth is a living organism which is alive and, it, and it's catching hell um, because of the, uh, of the curses. Remember, um, when the Lord gave us the, the blessings and he gave us the curses, he said, uh, curse will be the animals, you know, curse will be the people, the animals, the, the, the trees, the earth. So the whole earth is underneath this curse with Esau being in rulership, man. And, and, and once he saw us taken down and the curses are lifted off of us, because us being Yasha Allah, we were given the law. So we know how to properly um, maintain the earth. We know how to keep the land savage and, and force people to keep the land savage and what trees we can cut down and what trees uh, we, we're not to touch. And, and as far as the rain uh, forest goes and the Amazons and things of that nature. So once we get put back into power, you know, we're going to, everybody's going to rejoice, you know. Come on, I got something real quick for you, bro. Isaiah yep. 24, uh, verse uh, uh, verse 5, and it says, uh, verse 4, The earth mourneth in faithful way, the world languish in faithful way, the haughty people of the earth do languish, the earth also defile under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinances, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore had the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell their end are desolate, therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt in few men left. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Beautiful precept. You know, because of the inhabitants of the earth, the world earth is cursed. You know, it's cursed. Why? Because Esau is in, in root. And this is another reason in 2021 on why we have to do what? Hasten in the day. Talk. Because we do it for the animals, we do it for our livelihoods, we do it for our families, we do it for the earth. Yeah, you know, because if and, I'm here, quick, right? So yep. like, uh, the scripture says too that the 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 creation uh groaning for the manifestation of the of the sons of God. You know what I'm saying? So the earth is, is pretty much looking forward for the Israelites to be in power, man. You know, the whole creation, the animal, the earth, you know, the people, you know what I'm saying? Because of Proverbs 29 2 says uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bell fall, the people mourn. So the whole creation is waiting for the Israelites to come to power, you know. Son, I got that. I'm going to bring it out real quick. This is Romans 8 and 19. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature That's right. the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Yeah. So so the, the, the creature, the people, the, the earth is waiting for us, man, waiting for the Israelites, waiting for Yahweh ultimately to come down and such the right people in power. Because uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 10 verse 4 says, uh, the power of the earth is at the head of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it. One that is profitable. So the profitable kingdom, which is the king of Yahweh Shai, by default, the king of Israel, that's what's going to be profit, you know, make a uh, uh, good, beneficial to the earth and its creation, you know? And that's, uh -huh. another reason, that's another reason the haste and day of the coming of our Lord, man. That's right. Come, come. It was going to be established. As soon as Yahweh Shai comes back, this is ultimately going to go and fall in, uh, fall in place, man. Mm -hmm. Isaiah oh. chapter 14, uh, verse 7. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They it's break forth and be singing. Yea, the fair trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon sing, since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. Yeah, because like, yeah, when Esau is finally get taken down, you know, the earth gonna be rejoicing, man, because this devil all he does is cutting the trees, man. Like you said before, the trees are a living organism. They 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 have a direct relationship between us, man. You know, they give us our, our oxygen, we give them our, our you know uh it's a carbon monoxide. Yeah, yeah, carbon monoxide, you know what I'm saying? So the earth, yeah. the, the trees are I mean the, the trees are, 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 are waiting for the the manifestation of the sons of God, man. Gosh. You know? and, yeah. and, and again, again, that's why we keep on pushing the vibration uh hasting the coming of the day of Yahweh Shai because that's when everything gonna be in proper order, you know. Uh, if I may mention too, because I looked up a uh, fir tree to see what it looked like, and I'm gonna pull it up on the screen real quick because hey, it's gonna hit. And as you see, it's what it's that same tree that they use as as for, as for the Christmas tree, and which we have every year, every year December 25th. 
you mm. know? So it's showing you that what? Even the fir tree is going to rejoice. There's not going to be any cutting of the trees. There ain't going to be yeah. celebrating. Uh, the, the trees is good is good for uh for, for, for the proper purpose that the Lord Yahweh Bashim shot set up for, but yes, the and do stuff like that is when is when it's off. And this is what Esau promotes. Esau promotes wickedness by once again uh, uh the worshiping the cre uh, the creature more than the creator, man. Yeah, uh, ain't gonna be no more uh uh Christmas yeah. uh, thing, Christmas Day, uh, no you know, people. hundreds of thousands, if not millions of trees being cut mm -hmm. out of the forest. To yeah. basically to sacrifice being sacrificed into Nimrod. Go ahead, Bonawa. If I may add real quick, because like there are certain trees that are meant to be cut, man. Certain trees are, are pretty much are, are not meant to be cut. So this devil man, he he pretty much does everything against the law of Yahweh Shemeshai. Those, those trees that are meant to be cut, he 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 take them down anyway. And that's exactly why the whole earth groaning for a, a new a new rulership, a new management, man, where the proper order of uh, of the scripture gonna be applied, where the earth gonna be rejoicing, you know. Right. Um, Hasten and it's coming. Let's get the book of um Second Peter. Yeah, three verse uh, nine. I got you, bro. Uh Second Peter chapter three verse nine. And he says uh and he reads uh matter of fact, yeah, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, I summon count slackness, but is long suffering to us what not willing that any shall perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are the rain shall be burned up. See then that all these things shall be dissolved. What men or person are it to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting on the coming of the day of Yahweh Mashai, when the heavens be on fire to dissolve, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, yes. <laughs> God, bro, boy, you got to get it. No, just looking forward and hastening to the coming of our Lord. That's right. Because we're, we're in this predicament. We're in this effed up predicament that uh, is detrimental. This, this hastening is detrimental to our, our livelihood, our well-being, our health, man. Brothers have heart problems. Brothers got uh, ailments, you know. Brothers' bodies are breaking down, you know. So it's detrimental. When these, these scriptures is detrimental literally to our life, their life. When we say that their life is not something that we just say you know, this is this is something that's taken us out of um, a, a, a wayward doctrine, a wayward thinking, man. You know, of of being ass backwards. You know, being part of this world. You know, so the the the, the hey man, hastening of the day. Why? Because we know that the destruction is coming, and we Come. want to take part of the the destruction of the wicked. Come, one more piece of song. Verse thirteen. Yep. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens. In a new earth, we're in the earth where we enjoy the Yeah, we look for a new heaven, meaning it's going to be the same earth, but it's going to be refreshed. And in the heavens, it's going to be what a new rulership. That's right. You know, the rulership of God, Shaula. You know, like this, like the scripture say, the saint to the most high shall take the kingdom, kingdom and possess the kingdom. So this Whatever. is what we're looking for. Sure. I, you know? I got one more. I got one more. Um, this is First Chronicles sixteen and twenty three. I'm gonna read down, and it reads, "Sing unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, all the earth show forth." From day to day, his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord Yahweh and great and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord Yahweh Shah made the heavens. Right. Glory and honor are in his presence, strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord Yahweh Shah, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord Yahweh Shah glory and strength. Give unto the Lord due to uh, the glory due to, unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let men say among the nations, the Lord reigneth. All right. Let the seas roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field rejoice in all that is therein. All right. That's it. That's, that's what we want. That's all we want. Mm -hmm. All we want is for the Heavenly Father to receive all the glory that he's worthy of. And what you know the scriptures say, we could worship him every day of our lives and it still not be enough. You know, all we want is to live righteously. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to get out of these bodies. We want to be uh, made perfect. You know, we want to be made perfect because that's how we, that's the second, that's the second uh, covenant. The second covenant is um, us being taken out of these, these bodies and, um, 
the, the law being written on our inward part and the law being written on our inward parts is basically a, a path of rulership forever because we know that if 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 we can't sin, if we can't go off, then we'll receive these blessings forever. Wow. And that's what we're living for. Go ahead, Yakalum. Calm, I'm gonna get right down to it. This is Baruch two and thirty-four, because you were speaking about that covenant and it's gonna be an everlasting one. It says, I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Yasharala out of the land that I have given them. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. now, I'm, uh, I'm going to finish up on this one. I got um, four more verses. This is... Yeah. Uh, First Chronicles 16 and 33, it says, Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh Shemel Shah, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. And say ye, save us, O power of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the heathens, that we may give thanks to thy holy name and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, power of Israel forever and ever. All the people said, Aman, and praise the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's a beautiful precept. Come on. The Yahweh precept, man. That's right. That's right. That's right, man. And that's, once again, that's why we hasten in the day, man, because in order for us to receive that, man, these things got to happen, man. As the scripture says, through great uh, tribulation, we must enter into the kingdom. But hey, what we know is coming. Is a sure everlasting kingdom, man. All right, and that's what we pray for. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I said, no, it's just saying it's gonna be all worth it. Yeah. Um, in the kingdom, man. That's right. That's um, right. Real that's quick. Right. Uh, um, uh, Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. For the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and if children get ears. Ears with the most high and joint ears with Yahweh Shai. If so, that we suffer with them. Uh, if so, we suffer with them, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, you know, whatever it is that we got to go through on this side, it doesn't even compare to the glory which is going to be revealed in us, man. You know, we just got to hold on. We got to teach this word. We got to uh, maintain, hit the highways and byways, show brotherly love, uh, put our best foot forward, give our best sacrifice to serve the Heavenly Father, uh, and beg for mercy, man. You know, uh, beg for mercy, um, which is the Heavenly Father is full of mercies, you know, and, and, and hope that the Heavenly Father sees us fit, all right, to get, to get, on, get us a spot on a chariot. And, and, and allows us to watch us watch the downfall of our enemies, man. It, it's only right. It's only fitting for us, um, for the men of the Lord to watch Esau crumble and everything he's trying to. He's trying He's trying to, uh, um, uh, all the destruction and wickedness he's trying to uh, do to, to Yashala, the Heavenly Father's uh, chosen people, the apple of his eye. Yeah. You no? Know? Right. Like the scripture say, blessed is he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy, That's amen. That's right. I don't want right. to. We 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 get front row seats to this this devil's destruction, and we get to um we get to be part of this beautiful kingdom that the heavenly Father has prepared for us. That's right. All right. Hey. So, any do I have anything else? All right. Hey, man. So with that, man, we we hope and pray that that was edifying. We want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, by the blood the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect. I right, greetings from Boston. Shalom. Shalom.